I ran to a guy. This is how the trucking started. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gonna have to make them believe us. I ran to a guy, he was from Canada. I was, once again, when I was at Reynolds, I was a shipping, shipping receiving still. So I was unloading, loading trucks. And um, I ran to this guy, man, he was from Canada. And he was telling me, um, he was like, um, hey man, uh, when you load my truck, don't, don't, don't mess my walls up. I'm like, huh? I was like, what you mean? He's like, yeah, man, I just bought this trailer. And then he started talking to me and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, man, I'm, um, I, he was like, yeah, I ran this load from Canada to Richmond for $3,000. I said, for real? He's like, how long did that take you to do that? He's like, it only take me like two days. I'm like, what? I was like, okay. Um, I think he said two days, might've been three days, but two or three days. He said $3,000 or something like that. Um, and he said, yeah, I just paid five grand for this trailer. I don't know nothing about trucking. I was like, but it, it, you know, he was like, man, why don't you go get your CDL, man? You can make way more money. He asked me how much I make. I said, 17 an hour. He said, man, go get your truck. I mean, I mean go, go get your CDL, man. You can make way more money than this. You know, cause dude, he was from Canada and I was asking him questions. He had a bike. He had a bike on his truck and all this stuff. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like a bike. bike. bicycle? Yeah, he brought his, he had his bike on his truck and all that, like on the front of the truck. Like it was like, you know how like city buses? Be yeah, was, that's what I was thinking yeah. about. <laughs> he had it on the front of his truck. Wow, I, like, okay. I haven't seen that to this day. I still ain't never seen that. I, yeah, that's, well, that's the only time I seen it like that. I ain't know, you know, I ain't know nothing about trucks or whatever. So I started looking into it. And then my mom mentioned it again. She was like, she was like, why don't you go get your CDL? I was like, man, she keep telling me this. I was like, all right, you know, and then I ran with him and I was like, you know what? Let me look into it, you know? And um, so I looked into it. And uh, they wanted, and we had two options. You can either do the classes Monday through Friday for three weeks, or you can do uh, eight weekends for two months. So I was like, well, I have to work. I got bills to pay. I got kids. I got kids. I got, you know, car note. I got, a, uh, at the time I had a uh, rent to pay and all that, or the mortgage, whatever you want to call it, to pay. And, uh, so I was like, all right, well, I work graveyard um, Fridays. You know how it is on Fridays on graveyard. You come in at 11 at night, you don't get off at 7 in the morning on Saturday. Right. So I had, to be at the, I had to be at the class at 8 in the morning. Mm, straight so I was doing that. I did it, man. You know, did the classes for the eight weekends. And uh, I got a uh, pass the test first try because I, I came in I came in a thing where, uh, you know, I can't fail. You know, I was like, man, I can't fail, man. I just dropped, this cost me $5,000. And then you pay the five, well, you got to pay about five, was it $500 down payment, I think it was. And then they take it out monthly after you complete the class and get your CDL. So um, I passed the test first try, got my CDL. Um, and then uh, during the class, I'll rewind a little bit, during the classes, uh, they was talking about OTR and local, and then everybody was talking about, well, you gotta go to OTR, the experience. And then I saw Coca-Cola. This is how Coca-Cola came on board. Coca-Cola came into the class. They start explaining what they do, how much you can make. You know, they would say it's local, you're home every day, Monday through Friday, off weekends. You know, I had younger children at the time, and I was like, okay. So as soon as he left the class, I ran up on the dude. I ran up on him, I was like, look, man, I told him like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my CDL and I'm coming to you. And um, I need a job. He was like, okay, this is what you gotta do. Fill out this app. And he gave me a cell phone number. He said, as soon as you finish that app, call me. I said, okay, cool. I finished the app. This is before I got my CDL. I finished the app. I called him. He's like, all right, so when do you take the test? I was like, I take it to test and, you know, in about a week or so. He's like, all right, um, you pass, give me a call. I was like, all right, cool. Passed the test, went to DMV, got my uh, got my little joint, CD, uh, a uh, piece of paper until the real one came. Called him up, hey, I got it. He was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get you set up with a interview. 
Uh, I was like, all right, cool. He called me the next day. He was like, hey, interview, Monday morning at, I think it was, I don't, I don't remember the time, but he said Monday, interview. I said, okay, cool. I was like, all right, I got a job lined up, got an interview, I'm ready to go. And then uh, pretty much what happened was I uh, went to the interview. You know, I came in there with the, with the whole the suit on, you know, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to ace the joint. You know what I'm saying? I came oh, in they with a full nah. three. <laughs> Cause you gotta remember, I got that monthly payment coming out to pay back the CDL, which I mean, it won't. It was like, it was like 170, about 170 dollars, 180 dollars a month. Okay. okay. But still though, that's just money just coming out. So I was like, you know, I got all this going on, you know, I got bills to pay, and I'm trying to level up. So, and. Uh, did an interview and there's about three guys in there um interviewing me you know i knew what ace the joint because they kept asking me a million questions so uh even with the background my background they still hired me um but uh so that was never it, an issue it, it never been an issue after the seven years it's never been an issue you know what I'm okay because you said you was 19 when it happened i was 19 yeah and at this 19. point about how old after I left DuPont, you got, I put DuPont, I was at DuPont when I was 19. Yeah, it was, yeah. By the time I left DuPont, I was already over the seven year mark. Okay. Um, But that's when I left and met, when we left and went to Seattle or Tacoma. But after that, I never had no issues with, nobody brought it up because on an application, usually it say, have you ever been, have you ever caught a charge within X amount of time? You know, I just be like, nah, because it'd be like seven years. I mean, nah. Right. So uh I never had an issue. But if they ever if they ever asked me, I tell them I just I just kept it real. Yeah, I got one, you know, I got a charge or whatever. And uh that's the thing about most of these jobs, they want you to just be honest, because if they find out, then that's gonna it's gonna look bad. Um, but anyways, so I did like the interview at Coca-Cola on a Monday and or something like I think it was a Monday, and then uh they called me, I think they called me in like two days. Hey, we can go ahead and uh, hire you. I was like, all right, bet. Got my first trucking job. I was like, all right. So well, I got a question. I got a question because our stores are actually, we hadn't really talked about this, but our stores are kind of similar. Like I never intend on being a trucker. Like I was kind of forced. Yours, your hand wasn't necessarily forced because you was making good money at that time for your age, but Mine was kind of forced, but the point is, um, my first local gig, I, I went I went to truck driving school. Um, mine was six weeks. I went straight through, hit the road for like, I was a sucker with it, you hear me? That, that just won my life. I couldn't, sure. yeah, I couldn't do all the, I just won with it, man, it just won for me. So anyway, I had two young kids. First local job, and so this is, my, this is my question back to you. First local job, it was delivering groceries up and down that ramp. It was a bad food service, the name of it, up and down that ramp. They made me do a test. And I want to ask you if you had that. They call it some kind of, um, was it a pallet test or something? But basically, you had to uh, either load, no, unload, because they loaded your truck overnight. You just came in the morning, and you just went to your stops, your location, unloaded. They made us unload. They had a pallet full. You had to unload that pallet within a certain amount of minutes. I think it was 10 minutes. You couldn't Oh, yeah. I did that with the, the other company or the next company after Coke. Yeah. You didn't have to do it with Coke though? No, I didn't have to do it with Coke because we didn't have pallets. We had, they had like these little, I don't know what they call them. It's like these little black things. They like real narrow. They like probably about six, six inches wide. Maybe might, might be more than that where they loaded all the stuff and stacked high. We didn't have no regular pallets. Only time you had regular pallets was on like you know, like grocery stores, like the food line and stuff like that. But we, we didn't have to break those down. They just, you just take those off and put them in. But nah, at uh, at the next company I went to, uh, we had that, to do like- with, with Coke real quick. Um, Cause I want to ask you, cause I couldn't go local. I tried, I, I've tried different places. Like the school I went to, nah, we had them over the road companies come. <laughs> we didn't have a local Frito-Lay nothing. I had to go straight out. That's why I went over the road. I had no desire to do it. Um, how much did they pay you starting out to do that? They taught me how to shift though, because you know, you know, on Coca Cola trucks, they got drinks and stuff. 
and they only shrink, they might be shrink grabbed like once. So if you you start jerking or you start like grinding <laughs> the gears, that stuff coming down. You get to your stop, you looking at you, you open up that trailer, you got stuff everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Bust it open, all kind of stuff.